Hello viewers, welcome to Ultimate Gaming Guide. I'm Tanver, how are you all doing today? So today we'll talk about BIOS update. If you own a B450M motherboard or B450 motherboard and you still have the like a Ryzen 1000 or 2000 series CPU and you want to upgrade to a, like a 5000 series, then this video is for you. You can just simply uh, buy a 5000 series CPU and put it in your motherboard and hoping it to work. What you have to do, you have to update your BIOS first before you can put that 5000 series CPU. So let's show you how to do that. Okay, so first you want to go to the, your motherboard manufacturer's uh, website and you type in the specific model that you have and uh, search for the BIOS update. For me, I have the ASRock B450M Still Legend motherboard, so I'm going to search for ASRock B450M Still Legend BIOS update. So whatever, let's say you feel, if you have a gigabyte motherboard, so you want to search for gigabyte B450M uh, or whatever motherboard that you have for BIOS update. So search for that and make sure you are in the original manufacturer's website. So for me, it's the www.asrock.com. Go there, still legend. This is the, and make sure this picture matches. You don't want to download the wrong driver. So it's very important. So, and then you are going to go to the support tab and you click on BIOS and you want to download the most recent driver. So in here, I have the one driver for China and another for global. So if you live in China, download the Chinese driver, or if you live in anywhere else on Earth, download the global driver. So make sure you read this instruction because, because they already kind of like give you a caution, like ASRock do not recommend updating your BIOS if you are going to use Pinnacle, Raven, or Summit Reach CPU on your system. Okay, so this is a, this is kind of a, like a serious upgrade. So only do it on your own risk, and only if you wanna like upgrade to a 5000 series CPU. Otherwise, like there's a, there's no this there's, there's a little bit of risk involved. It looks like so. Uh, do it on your own risk and there is a like a little uh, like a tutorial how to do it uh, if you click the instant flash it will uh, it'll tell you how to update your um, motherboard so please extract the zip file after downloading the BIOS from the ASRock website save the BIOS file on a FAT32 formatted USB so you can just plug in any USB drive it must be a FAT32 okay and press F2 during the post, so when you're like rebooting, so make sure you get to the BIOS pressing F2 or delete key and select the instant flash utility under the tools menu to execute it. Okay, so pretty straightforward. So right now I'm gonna go, I have the most updated BIOS is the 4.3 version. So just click global uh, if you live on, because uh, I, I'm here in the United States. So you wanna save it and now I have already, downloaded it a couple of times then you're gonna click show in folder and then you're gonna right click on it and click extract all uh, okay so and this is the file and at this point you want to plug in your usb drive so the extracted file and you, at this point you want to uh, copy this file and you want to transfer it to the usb that you plugged in for me, I've already copied it, uh, so at this point, you're kind of set. Now, now it's to all that is left to get to the BIOS. And you want to restart your computer. And keep on pressing that delete key to while the, your computer is rebooting. Okay, so now we're in BIOS. This is called UEFI BIOS. So the most of the modern BIOSes look like this. Um, this is where you can interact even with your mouse. So what do you want to do? You want to find the setting for the instant flash. I think it's on, it's under tool, go to the tools and click the instant flash. Make sure your USB is plugged in with the, um, with the updated file at this point. So you want to click on instant flash and it finds the file that it needs to update and you want to click on update. And it said, do you want to update UF, 
UEFI BIOS to this file? I said yes and do not power off. Make sure you don't power off your system at this point. Uh, even if you don't have a constant power source, make sure it's uh, plugged into an alternate source uh, because if your computer loses power while it's updating, it's going to become a brick. So I'm almost done with the update. Okay, programming success. Uh, please enter to reboot systems and and that's how you update the B450M motherboard BIOS. So there are three key things to remember. First, make sure you go to the original manufacturer's website to download the latest driver. And second thing, make sure you have a very reliable USB drive from uh, like a reputable manufacturers and make sure it's formatted to F32. Okay. And I hope this little video was helpful to you. If this video helped you out in any way, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.